Your high school days. Guys and gals, ready to take on the world? Love them. Every name is called a noun as field. Oh! Or hate them. Four people walked in late. Oh, damn! You never forget them. We rigged this Canadian secondary school with 50 remote-controlled cameras Woo! to find out what life is really like for today's teenagers. Focus, Gage. Focus, Gage. Oh, I can't. As they prepare to embark on adult life... Once you've done your exam, you can text your little fingers to oblivion. ...in an ever-changing world. If we can open up our hearts to kids, make relationships, and make connections. This beautiful. Yeah. Really nicely done. No! Yes! The kids will learn to open up their hearts to us and to others, and they'll engage in their learning. It's awesome. But when dealing with teenagers, <laughs> nothing is ever straightforward. Feel good to come to school. Grad's approaching. This is awesome. It's the beginning of the final term at South Kamloops Secondary School. One day I'm gonna be one of these people on this wall, and somebody's gonna like look at me and just judge my grad photo as harshly as I'm judging these people's. For the grade 12s, it's a busy time of year right now. They've got grad to prepare for. Yeah, they got tuxedos to pick out. They've got dresses to pick out. Dry grad will only be here, I think, for another week, and then they're kind of wrapped up. But at the same time, it's probably one of the most important semesters of their entire high school experience. Did you hand in your project? Yeah, I emailed it to her last night. They're trying to get scholarships. They're trying to figure out what school they can go to. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to yeah. lose my goddamn mind. Hopefully, they've got all those pieces in place that they need to graduate. It's a lot of pressure for them, for sure. You are in your final term. This morning, students in grade 12 have gathered for an assembly about graduation. If you are unsure whether or not you have all the requirements to grad, then you need to make an appointment with your counselor to show you whether or not you're there, okay? It's my turn. So, survey went out for nominations for valedictorian nominees. We'd like to invite grads to begin voting. The valedictorian nominees that you choose will be presenting speeches on Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch next week. To make this work, though, I need you to do this survey, all right? That's all I have to say about commencements for now. We'll see you at lunch on Tuesday. Hey, uh, Anthony. Yeah, hey, uh, we have perfect timing. Anthony and Jared are both members of the graduating class. Tell me your averages again. I think mine currently is somewhere between uh, 96 and 97, and his is probably like 98. He does really well in biology. So are monomers of lipids only monomers when they're connected together, or is it a polymer when they're combined? When they're combined. They have to be together. OK. Anthony's getting 102% by 12. I've never had that in 20 plus years of teaching. I'm trying to find a way for him <laughs> not to get that great. Is that bad? Excuse me, yeah. would, would you mind switching seats? Because Anthony and I can sit up here together. I think you could probably move to any open spot. We have very similar interests, and that just seemed to merge well into a good friendship. Remember Greninja? Remember Special Landorus? Remember Blaziken Mega? 
Okay, if I could have your attention, please. Hello. They are socially interesting, I put it. I don't need time to say the thing on it. Um, pretty sure it's C. It's C. They have their own sense of humor and their own way of talking. Yep. It just takes a little getting used to them. Definitely double helix, right? Yeah. It's a joke. A lot of people don't quite get Anthony and, uh, and Jared, but they get each other. I'll see you next block. Yeah. Bonjour. Congrats. This is a final warning. If you'd like to get your nominations in for valedictorian, it's very, very important you get this done by tomorrow at the latest. Merci. Au revoir. Aaron, you should go for it. I would vote for you. You want your voice to be heard? Make sure you fill out those forms and get them to Mr. Buman. It's your grad, your choice. Another member of the graduating class is First Nations student, Tamika. I'm always smiling. People tell me to stop smiling. I'm like, why? <laughs> okay, turn around and squat. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> I'm very outgoing and like, I'm really sporty. Let's go hard. Captain of the girls' basketball team, Tamika wants to make sports her career. I want to bring the power of sport back to First Nations Reserves. My mom used to play basketball, so I grew up in the gym. I love sports. It's, it's what I love to do. And I want other youth to be able to feel that. I want them to be able to feel important. If you can pursue in sports, you can pursue in anything in life. Tamika has been accepted into the sports management program at a local university. Okay, guys, welcome. I have been accepted on the condition of getting 73% in English. Tamika, you owe me stuff. Right now, I'm getting 69%. It's extremely stressful. My whole life is riding on this one grade. It's insane. Okay, turn the car. I just have like one more concluding paragraph and a regular paragraph to write. Okay, the piece I'm concerned about for you is I feel like your focus is not full on. Yeah. This was supposed to be done Friday. Tamika is fully capable of meeting her goal, but sometimes things get in the way. Like working after school here until I have it? Yeah, I work right after school. What time do you work until? Until 10. And is that regular? Yeah. So you work until 10 o'clock at night on school nights? Yes. Is there an option to ease up on that a little bit? I can try, but... I want you to be successful with your goal. Okay. But I can't do it for you. Yeah. We're dealing with human beings in a time in their lives when there's so much change, especially in grade 12, that process of moving into adulthood, that's a challenging thing to do. You let me know if you need something extra from me. Okay. This year, my mind's been everywhere. And there's only four weeks of school left, and after that, 
I have to take on the world, go to university, work more hours, pay my own bills. It's kind of scary. You don't work seven days a week? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think as you come close to graduating, it makes you realize everything that your parents have done for you for like 18 years. You have to do it on your own. It's hard. I'm constantly like worrying about everything, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I just put on a smile. And be happy. I got an email for tryouts for the University of Regina to go play for their softball team. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Hey, Anthony and Jared, can you set them down? Thank you. What? I have a feeling we should be scared. Oh, it's in the end. Hi. Hello. Hello. One at a time, please. Hey, Jerry, you can go first. Let's go alphabetical. Oh. All right, Jared. Okay, Jared can come first. Apparently, reverse alphabetical. Gonna start with nothing bad. Everyone thinks when they come down to see me in the office, it's bad. It's not. Uh -huh. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Okay. All right. I'm very pleased to say that you've been nominated for grad valedictorian. I <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> you should be proud, right? Like, this is, yeah. a, it's a big deal. I had a look at it logically and understood how it would be probable that I could be on that nomination. Although I still couldn't tell if it was a joke or not. All right. All right. You're next to the chopping block. <laughs> chopping block, good luck. You can shut the door there. I'll wait for you. Now, I'll start the same way I started with everyone. You are not in trouble. Okay, I didn't think I was. I've actually got really good news. Yeah. During the grad survey, where they had an opportunity to nominate valedictorians, yeah, okay. you were nominated. I should be very proud, right? This is a, it, it's a very big deal. So, very, very happy for you. Yeah. And on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we're going to have you do your speeches. This is a bit different than the actual valedictorian speech, right? Sort of talk about who we are as a grad class and, and then who we want to be as a grad class, right? So show me what you got, right? Okay. Okay. Right. So I just want to say Anthony. Right. Anthony. Ooh. Well done. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. You can leave the door open. Okay. Here we go. How do you talk to a bunch of 18-year-olds about why you're the best person? Humor. <laughs> I don't think it will affect our friendship at all. I mean, it's just a speech, right? It's gonna be a fun, fun week. Oh, look at this. I didn't know you were having a garage sale. Yeah, everything. Mark down. It's all your stuff from your house. The big grad prank this year was a lawn sale. It's out there. It's, it's all junk. Morning. How you doing today? Testing out the stroller. 
It's a VHS tape of Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. I might get my grade 12 to come and pick up that uh, recliner there. Maybe I could teach from a recliner. Go. <laughs> How is the speech going? Um, I'm trying to get to the rallying part about why they should vote for me. That's the part I... I... That's the hardest part. Anthony and Jared have just one week to write their speeches for the valedictorian competition. So Marina, are you going to vote for both of us? Because you know that you'd probably rather have us than anybody else. Yeah. No, I'm just going to sell my vote. Becoming valedictorian, I think, would kind of finish the year off with a bang. I am a fan of musical theater. I always like to finish with a little bit of a bang. Vigorous jazz hands. Anyways. <laughs> Should I try to stick in the Irish accent to my speech? It uh, wasn't for my Irish accent. Maybe, I don't know. I find that humor works well. Then I say, if I didn't care about having the chance to represent our grad class well as valedictorian, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I wanted to make a, a very poignant message. It could be a good idea, Anthony. If you go serious and I go comedic... Oh, um, don't get help from the competition. I want to be a good valedictorian because it's a title that actually means something. is isn't just like saying, hey, or Hugh, you got a uh, gold star for participation. Are these the people you want leading your grad class? Yes. Exactly. They say to snag your date. I'm gonna snag Michael. I'm gonna snag Kayla. I'd rather just hang off your arm all night. I have dibs, he's my date. Hey, two arms. Senior year's supposed to be fun, but mine's been pretty crappy, so. <laughs> During lunch, Tamika asks to meet with First Nations education worker, Flora King. I've known her for a few years, and that's the most upset I've ever seen her. So what's going on? Stuff at home, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's awful. Like, I don't even feel like I live there. Hey, um, yeah. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> it's okay. My like dad came into my room while I was studying and like ripped my phone out of my hand. And then he like went through absolutely everything and like all of my conversations, all my pictures. He went through all your phone. My okay. phone. Like I have a lot of guy friends. Mm -hmm. I'm like very sarcastic and outgoing and like mm -hmm. so they thought I was being like rude and like disrespecting myself. And okay. Like disconnected my phone, like canceled it completely. Oh. And then they took my car away and, and they're just so strict. <laughs> Trying to like protect me, like I get that. But there comes a point. It's like I'm 18. To me, I feel that you're very responsible. That's what I see. But they see their little girl. Understand that, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her 
parents had found some stuff on her phone. They were upset with her. They took her phone. They took the car away. I think that her dad was probably worried that her social life would be a big distraction that could pull her away from uh, her goals. I need to talk. Let me know. Okay. Okay. She puts on a, a brave face, but under the surface, there's a lot going on for her that she doesn't express. It's like that pressure cooker. It all looks good until the top kind of blows. Is that my coach? Is it? Let's give it up for these guys. Look at that beauty. But yeah, just put it right there, right by Buster, guys. Well, what were you saying, Moira? <laughs> All right. See you later. You guys ready? Oh, uh, we'll wait until they clear out. Clear out. By the end of the day, Jared and Anthony both have a first draft of their valedictorian speech. I want to fix a line in mine. Jared, do you want to go first? All right. All right. All right. Good afternoon, grad 2016. I said, good afternoon, grad 2016. <laughs> Insert a few small cheers, but not much. I came up with a speech that was very Jared. And hopefully it'll just do the trick. This is the time of your life, the prime of your years, the final hours before you actually have to pay your own bills. So I ask you, why are you voting for the person that you are? Is it that they have promised to make America great again? Wait, that's, that's the wrong election. Never mind. The wrong which? The wrong election. Election, thank you. Yes, I shall attempt to enunciate and speak a little bit slower or, when I'm front, in front of the crowd. Wait a minute, that's the wrong country. Oh, that's even better. I like your enthusiasm, though. God, Jared's funny. He expresses himself. He's so proper, but funny. I didn't even know he had that in him. Uh, thank you, Jared. I think that was good. A couple little tweaks. Slow it down. Yeah. Very good. Okay, buddy. Anthony, go ahead. So how's everyone doing today? Valedictorian really is an honor. I'm here to hopefully show that I would make an excellent one. Our grad class is kind of like a small community or family. If there was one way to show the success and the individuality that our grad class has, well, I hope I can be the one to show it. Anthony's speech was really sincere. It was from the heart. He really wanted to do well. He really wanted to show them that he was capable of representing them. Let's have a great grad, and thanks a lot. Woo! <laughs> uh... Good, but there are some areas I think that you can improve upon. You are a more serious candidate. Maybe add a little humor into it as well. That's got to show them a lighter side of you, right? How about I may not have as big as arms as... I might not be as pumped. Pumped up. Pumped up. Pumped up. But if you need help on your bio test, I'm your guy. That's better. It kind of evolved as I rehearsed it more. It became more apparent, like, what parts need to be emphasized to not make it too quippy, too boring, too serious, too anything. At the end of the day, Anthony, 
do your best, right? That's all we can do. I will talk to you later, my friend. I feel like people stereotype me that, oh, uh, someone that does really good in math can't be friends with a jock. Hi. Getting nominated, it's like a chance to be a part of something. Back. How you doing today? It's Monday morning. Tamika has spent the weekend without her phone or car. All right, first bell's gone, but you got this. You can still get to class on time. Okay. Okay, you can do this. I'll work on it. Good. My parents, they did grow up on the reserves. And they like changed their whole lives just for me. They moved out here, put me in basketball, made sure I stayed in a high school for five years. How are you feeling today, Tamika? I'm done. I wish I could have just been like honest with my parents, not have to hide everything. I have a, a few questions, Tamika. Just knowing that. I disappointed them that bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, we're not here to listen to me speak today. We are here to listen to our valedictorian nominees. Without further ado, Graham, would you like to come up? It's round one of the valedictorian speeches. Anthony and Jared will have their turn tomorrow. Thank you. After hearing all ten speeches, the graduating class will vote for one boy and one girl. For those of you who don't know me, I was the one who smeared poo on the bathroom walls last year. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, but yeah, thanks for thinking that was me. <laughs> Mistakes we make can lead to some of the happiest moments in your life. That was said by my father after I was conceived. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. My speech wouldn't have as many big words as yours, but you'd actually be able to understand me. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who nominated me. You guys clearly have a bright future ahead of you. I was wishing for them not to do as well. It was very humorous and ca like casual. Back in class, Anthony revises his speech. I just add this line, so someone should tell me if it actually sounds good. But it's the times that we laugh and smile that we remember. I want to make sure that I'm part of them. Aww. I like it. I want the message to be that no matter where you are, we're all connected in a grad class. I should probably retype it, but I kind of love it. How are you supposed to slow down some of this? It makes me happy that I don't have a date now. Aww. So, mom and dad, do they want you home right after? Probably, like I'm on lockdown. <laughs> You're on lockdown? Pretty much feels that way. Tamika is close enough with her family that if there's discord going on, it could affect her confidence or her belief in herself. She's got graduation. 
that English grade has to be at this level. Pressure's on, definitely. Um, so I want to get going right away. Some of you, I'm still missing some essays. So you may choose to work on that, this block, and hand it in to me, too. Tamika still hasn't finished her English project. It's been extremely tough just handling everything. I find it hard to, like, focus. <laughs> You're welcome to stay here for a bit. Okay. Do you want to? Yeah. Or you do you need to head out? Um, I'm, I'm just quickly... Because I know yeah. you work at 4, and I'm going to be here till 4, so you're not going to hold me up. Tamika is such a positive person, but struggles to express her emotions. Is this too short, or is that...? Negative emotions make people uncomfortable. It's sometimes safer to stay positive. Okay, I think uh, that it would be stronger in first person, because sometimes you're wanting to take a step back. Yeah. Um, but. If you shift it into first person, then you could talk about your own experience. That's a powerful ending place. Yeah. Do a read just for that. Okay. When I started to write it down, I wrote what I was going through and just wrote about me. <laughs> I don't really like asking people for help, so I tend to keep it all to myself. And um, yeah, it becomes really stressful. songs chosen and we're not sure about F forever young but we don't know what song was that is that rod stewart someone mentioned that jay-z did a cover of that it's day two of the valedictorian speeches so are you five ready uh as ready as we'll ever be yeah i, I suppose so I've been like worrying about this for like the last couple days. I was like, uh, should I do this? Should I do that? I don't know. I hope people like it. Uh, I, I don't know. I hope I look fine. Anthony, you look fine. You look like Anthony, and that's what we want to see. We want to see. Hopefully, people. Okay. Thank you for coming for the second round of valedictorian nomination speeches. An unknown genius once said, you can always retake a class, but you can never relive a party. Vote for who you think will represent our class the best and for who you think will make us proud as we cross the stage in June. And cheers to grad 2016. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Jared. Big round of applause. So I ask you, why are you voting for the person that you are? Is it that they have promised to make America greater? Wait, wait, that's the wrong country, sorry. Who would you be proud to call your valedictorian? Cough, cough, me, cough, cough. <laughs> In all seriousness, no. I do have something to offer. My speech will be grammatically correct. Exclamation mark. 
It seemed to me like my speech had a really positive reception from the entire grad class. Everybody was laughing at the jokes where I intended them to be. After all, we are a South Cam grad class. 2016. Thank you, Jared. Next on the list, we have Anthony. Please come up. So how's everyone doing today? Well, that's good to hear. We're all different in our own ways. Some of us are intellectual. Some of us are part of athletic teams. I'm not part of that part. <laughs> May not have the huge muscles, but you know, if you need help on that test that's coming up, I'm your guy. And we've all had these great times shared between each other. And we've also had bad times. But you know, it's the times where we smile and we laugh that we remember. And I want to make sure that I am a part of all of the good times. Valedictorian is an honor. And if I didn't care about having a chance to represent our grad class the best that we can be, I wouldn't be standing up here right now. Because I know I can represent the best grad class in the history of the school. Grad 2016! It seemed like a lot of people liked it, so that's all I can really ask for. Good job. It was really good. And you could tell that people enjoyed listening to it too. I, I think so. It was really good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. no, it was. I really Yours was, I actually. <laughs> you have my vote. <laughs> well, I, did I not have it before? I really feel like I, I have a good shot. I, I think you have a chance. I think you have a chance. Hopefully. We don't all vote. We won't get our say. I feel like this is important. He's so smart, but I just can't handle how our, like, it's just, there's too much articulation. If I wanted to roast Graham, I'd probably wait till the final valedictorian speech. The final? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Be Once you'd already be in there. Yeah. There's the bell. Okay, guys, would you settle into your spots? I would like you to spend today on rehearsal of your spoken word. Tamika's finished writing her assignment, but still has to present it to the class. Okay. Let's highlight as we go. She's enlisted the help of her friend, Aiden. I think we should just say things together when it feels right. So here, this one, then I'll do the bottom one. Miss Richter said, write something really close to you. What happens when your wheels start turning and your head keeps spinning? I like to keep things bottled up until I explode. It's a constant emotional battle with myself to figure out how I'm actually feeling. I don't know. Okay, let's just try. Okay. Find your greatness. Where do you find it when it's not right in front of you? Where is my greatness when my hands are shaking and my head is spinning? How important is it for you to get that 73 in English? It's extremely important. Oh. It was worth 50 marks, so it was a massive assignment. If I don't get that 73 in English, my whole plan is like shot. 
like another and then like, yeah. and another and another and then you like yeah. Grad class assembles in the gym to find out who will be their valedictorians. Are we all here? Okay. I'll wait for everyone's attention. So, quiet. All right. So what I want to say is thank you. We had 170 grads go online and vote. That's huge. That's 75% voter turnout for your grad class, which is better than the federal election. Yes! <laughs> now, before I announce the valedictorians, oh. just so you know, I'm going to announce both names. I'm going to have both of them to stand, and then you can all applaud at the same time, OK? OK. Without no further ado, we have Cynthia and Josh. Hey, Anthony, I really liked your grad speech. I want to tell you that. You did awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Jared, well done. Thank you. Oh, your speech is great too. Okay. I definitely wanted to win, but not in the same raw emotional way as Anthony. Yesterday, Anthony found out he lost the race for valedictorian. It is upsetting to lose. I didn't really want to think about it until I had a bit more time to just get my grounding. Anthony shows up. Didn't say anything, and I'm like, okay. Anthony, come into my office. I heard you didn't get the valedictorian. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, I'm really happy for Josh and everything. I guess it's just more disappointing, even though because you kind of get like all this good feedback from a lot yeah, of people. Do. And I got a lot of it, but, and it kind of just feels like a bit wasted. The one thing that Anthony really wanted was to be a part of his grad class. And you may not know this yet, but he is. Listen, you did a really good job up there. I heard your speech and I thought it was excellent. You were part of that group that was asked to be a valedictorian or that recognition is huge in itself. Yeah. Okay. So don't feel bad. No, it's, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> I don't know if it's nothing, Anthony. You should be pretty proud of yourself. I suppose so. 
All right, I'll talk to you later. The biggest growth I've seen in Anthony is that he understands himself better. And he knows he can put himself out there. And he can face rejection and still be true to himself. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. What's the derivative of the derivative of e to the x? e to the x. <laughs> you might not be the most popular person, but hey, you found your place, you've made friends, and you kind of feel like, yeah, I, I was part of it. Let's be honest, Anthony. You won't ever look back on high school life. It'll just take off and keep going. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Uh, until I run out of money, I have to live in the box. I just need to breathe and like calm down a second, okay? Whew, okay. Tamika's grade in English and her acceptance into university have all come down to today's presentation. I just kind of woke up and was like, I'm not gonna get anywhere from keeping everything to myself. I need to grow up and I need to do it fast because there's only three or four weeks left to school. Tamika, up next. Stage is yours. Find your greatness. But where do I find it when it's not right in front of me? Where is my greatness when my hands are shaking and my head is spinning? And, and the, the only, only thing, thing I need is to give up. up. Yet everything, everything you, you need, need is already inside. inside. But what's inside is the fire in my lungs and the pounding in my skull. From the list of to-dos that keep piling up. Another, another and, and another and another. And another. I, just I just can't keep up. Not gonna lie, I cried a couple times writing it just because it's so hard to say it out loud. But doubt kills more dreams, dreams than failure ever will. will. No, doubt kills the freedom that I once had as a child. No, no stress, stress, no recess. A time in my life where I knew no bad. That's, That's when, when you remind, you remind yourself, yourself that mama didn't raise a quitter. And, and it's time to suck it up, grow up, and figure your shit out. Because it's giving up is simply not an option. And time doesn't stop and neither can you. Head up, keep straight, and whatever you do, don't look down. All right, thank you guys. Tamika had the courage to talk about her own life and her own challenges. She progressed hugely in her ability to express herself. Beautifully orchestrated. You gotta be pretty happy with that. <laughs> okay, okay, ladies. Yeah. We got 95% on it, so we killed it. I'm gonna take this to Steph and be like, ah! I want to get a picture of it. Step by step, I'm slowly starting to get to where I want to be as a person. And as I'm walking across the stage and as I get my diploma, that's when I'll finally like realize I think that um, I've done it. I'm actually stoked on life right now. Yeah. Like it's insane. <laughs> How do these ridiculous things sit? I'm so proud of you guys. I don't want to cry. Good evening. After 13 years of preparation, it is my honor to please welcome the graduating students 
of South Camden Secondary. I'm really looking forward to seeing them walk across that stage, but uh, I'm not looking forward to not seeing them after that. It is a bit bittersweet. Thank you. I feel like high school ends up being a really great experience for anyone that chooses to make it a great experience. Jim. Hello. Just realizing how you fit into the large puzzle, it's quite satisfying indeed. I saw my mom like crying up in the stands. Congratulations, Tamika. My dad was like so proud. Just knowing that I could make them that proud was like, it was amazing. Nice. It's really an exciting time. The young people that leave here are the people that are eventually going to run the world. I present to you the South Camp Secondary Class of 2016. Charleston. You tell me, I'm proud to call you my daughter. So proud. Come in, crowd. 